Welcome back to talk about Animate Weapon in Path of Exile 3.10. Just a day ago, I came out with a video about why I think this skill has potential to be really good. In short, I played Summon Raging Spirit in 3.9 and it felt great, except for the very short duration on the spirits, and because Animate Weapon has such a long duration, but a lot of the same attributes as SRS, I think it has potential to be great once some of the quality of life issues are resolved, and it looks like Grinding Gear Games is doing that in 3.10. So just today we got some more information about the Blade Blast and other Blade skills, but more specifically about how those will interact with Animate Weapons, so I thought I would talk about that a little bit here, and then go over some preliminary thoughts on how I think it will be best to scale this skill. I'll talk about that at the end. But first, just the information that we got from Grinding Gear Games. So. Here's the part that we care about, is that Animate Weapon can animate the blades left behind by Ethereal Knives, Blade Vortex, Blade Fall. I think that Blade Fall is the most practical of these because it leaves behind six blades per cast. And so if we're doing the very easiest way to sustain, and this was pointed out in comments on my previous video, if we just have a weapon with cast socketed spells whenever you use a skill we have blade fall socketed there every time we cast an animate weapon we cast a blade fall the blade fall creates six more blades for us to animate and we can do that as long as we have mana until we hit the minion cap so very very easy to sustain it off of blade fall so here's the relevant information so we know that the blades animated this way off of blade fall will have the base attack speed crit and range similar to a glass shank so very low, but Animate Weapon adds bonus physical damage to it based on the level of the skill. So extra gem levels will scale our damage very nicely. And it's hard to tell where this will compare to animating the weapons we might just find on the ground. Um, odds are, I would guess, that it's going to be a little bit less damage than animating weapons on the ground because then you get some payoff for doing the extra work to specifically click on the stuff that drops. So. That's fine. No way to know exactly where the DPS compares, but I imagine it will at least be sufficient. Then also, another thing worth noting is that blades from a low level blade fall can be used by a high level animate weapon. This is very nice. It means we can keep our blade fall low level in order to not have a super high dex requirement because it is a pure dex skill on a build that is probably wanting to be mostly on the intelligence and maybe a little bit of strength side. So that's nice. It also means that if we, for some reason, wanted to have a low level blade fall on a cast when damage taken setup and use that to trigger our blades, we would have that build option available to us. Then they continue, we've rebalanced animate weapon to lower the maximum number of blades and lower the time taken to reach full power. Um, I guess slightly disappointing because the 50 blade count did give a pretty insane high level DPS you could get, but it's understandable that they would tune this down. But to compensate for the minion count loss, we've significantly improved their speed and granted much more added damage, so that's good. The skill now has a faster cast time, lower mana cost, and grants more attack speed. Uh, a couple of things to unpack there. The faster cast time is actually a very big deal because the faster you can cast the spell, the more you can have up for your given duration. So uh, the slow cast speed when I was playing around with Animate Weapon was part of what made it feel really bad. Similarly, it had a very high mana cost before, so tuning that down a little bit is gonna make it much, much easier to sustain. Previously, I was thinking you probably had to either go for a Mind Over Matter build with a lot of mana unreserved or Blood Magic even in order to sustain casting a lot of animate weapons really fast. Lower mana cost will, I think, make that a little bit more flexible for you. And finally, the more attack speed, I think, is instead of increased attack speed, which it previously had, meaning that other effects that we can do for increased attack speed, I'm thinking most notably stuff like the offerings or perhaps the haste skill uh, will get a better multiplier effect for us. So all of these mean that we'll probably have less blades, but they'll be considerably more effective. Uh, the skill also grants increased minion movement speed as the gem levels. Previously, you got minion movement speed off of gem quality, and I think this is a nice little change because I think otherwise it's pretty much mandatory to have a high gem quality, and this will make leveling with the skill feel a little bit better instead of feeling like you need a 20 quality gem just to get started. We've also gotten a little bit of new footage to look at. 
and a few things to notice from here. First, you can really tell the difference in the attack and move speed of the weapons in the new version of Animate Weapon versus the old. Uh, second, an interesting build choice we're getting in this demo. It looks like a Blood Magic character running skitter bots, although they're not having any trouble sustaining their count of minions by just manually casting Bladefall and then animating. And third, it looks like the cap on the number of weapons is likely to be 10. Lastly, just a quick word about how you might go about scaling Animate Weapon in 3.10. Obviously, we'll need to see the final skill gem before we know for sure, but there's a little bit of speculation that we can do in advance, because I think there's really three different ways that you could aim to scale this spell. The first would be all physical, using something like an Impale Support, Dread Banner, and maybe the Pride Aura, and trying to stack as much physical damage as possible certainly is a viable option. Second, you could do some physical and some elemental with like a Hatred Aura and the Grip of the Council Gloves, and just have some cold damage in addition to your physical. And third would be a full elemental conversion, probably using the Triad Grip Gloves, maybe the Anger Aura, and then you could use support like elemental damage with attacks and you could also use combustion and the immolate supports and get quite a bit of added flat damage and which of those is going to be best will depend on the final skill gem we see but from just playing around in path of building currently it looks to me like elemental conversion is the best with the current version of the gem and so barring some big changes I think that's still going to be the way to go one big advantage of that is you can use elemental equilibrium and trigger that using your blade fall if you just get some small added lightning damage onto that spell you can trigger the elemental equilibrium with it and uh, take down enemy monster resistance. Or if you decide to go the physical route, be aware that in 3.9 there was a big buff for monster armor ratings, so your damage may start to fall off as you get into later maps unless your gear is just absolutely over the top. And because Animate Weapon is looking like a skill that does a lot of fast attacks, armor will reduce your physical damage quite a bit unless you have some sort of plan to penetrate through that. Anyways, that's all I have for now, and I'm hoping we'll get some more information about Animate Weapons. We can continue theory crafting this very interesting skill. Uh, leave me any comments you have about what you're planning to do with Animate Weapon, and hit subscribe if you'd like to get updates on this as we get more information prior to the launch of 3.10.